Hi there, I'm Jeremy Krug, and in this video we're going to take a look at the second type of titration here in AP Chemistry Unit 8, Section 5, Acid-Base Titrations. And we're going to look at strong bases being reacted with weak acids. Now, we talked a little bit about this type of reaction in Section 4, but remember that a strong base is always going to be represented as hydroxide ions, and a weak acid, since it doesn't dissociate very much, is going to be written as its full formula. And your products are going to be water and the conjugate base of the acid. So this is what that would look like. Uh, in this case, we can call the weak acid HX, or HA if you want to, and it's being added to hydroxide. That's the strong base part of this. And the products are the conjugate base, that's my X minus or, or A minus, and of course water. Now remember, like we talked about in our earlier video as well, once the titration gets started up, but before the, the equivalence point, this hydroxide here reacts completely with the acid, which means that you have a mixture of the weak acid and its conjugate base. And so you have a buffer. We'll talk more about that here uh, in a future video. So let's try a problem here. This one says in a titration, 0 0.100 molar sodium hydroxide is titrated into 30 milliliters of 0.2 molar acetic acid. Part A, determine the amount of sodium hydroxide required to reach the equivalence point. And Part B, calculate the pH of the mixture after 30 milliliters of sodium hydroxide have been added. So in order to solve Part A, we're going to need to use the titration equation that we learned about in the last video. And so that's MAVA equals MBVB, and we just have to plug and chug. So the molarity of the acid is 0.2, as we get from the problem right here. And the volume of the acid is the 30 milliliters. So we plug that in. Uh, on the other side of the equal sign, the molarity of the base is 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. And the volume of the base, that's what we're solving for. It says determine the amount. So that's our V sub B. So now we just calculate this. Uh, 0.2 times 30 divided by 0.1, that gets us 60 milliliters. So that's the answer. It's going to take 60 milliliters of sodium hydroxide to get to the equivalence point. Now, part B says calculate the pH of the mixture after 30 milliliters have been added. Now, it takes 60 to get to the equivalence point. 30 milliliters is the halfway point. Now, in acid-base titrations, when you have something weak and something strong being added, the halfway point is a very um, special point from a stoichiometric point of view. Something that is true at the halfway point of a titration like this, pH is equal to the pKa of the acid. pKa just means negative log of the Ka, just like pH means negative log of H. So to find the pH at this halfway point, this 30 milliliters point, all we have to do is take the negative log of the Ka that's given to us in the problem. So negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth is 4.74. Now you need to know that. That is something that they expect you to know for the AP Chemistry exam halfway point, pH equals pKa. And we'll talk a little bit more about why that's the case when we talk about buffers. But for right now, we'll just suffice it to say that you, that you need to know that at the halfway point. Now, let's look at the titration curve for a strong base weak acid titration. I want you to notice that this looks a little bit different than the one for a strong base strong acid titration from the last video. I want you to notice how the pH changes over the course of the titration. It starts out low, doesn't start out quite as low as it did last time, because last time it was a strong acid, and so it was going to start out like close to zero. But this is a weak acid, so it's more like, you know, two or three. And so it slowly goes up, just like it did before. But just like in the last example, it shoots up. We have this S type of a curve in here. It shoots up, and right at the inflection point, of that 
S point there, or that S curve, that is the equivalence point. And we can drag this equivalence point over and we can see about where the equivalence point is on the pH scale. Looks like it's somewhere between 8 and 9 if I'm looking at this correctly. And that makes sense. If you have a strong base and a weak acid, you would expect your equivalence point to be on the basic side, right? Because the base is stronger. If it had been the other way around, a strong acid and a weak base, you would expect the pH of your equivalence point to be on the acidic side, because in that case, the acid would be stronger. So that's what this titration curve looks like. Hope you learned something about uh, how we look at these strong base, weak acid titrations. We'll learn more about titrations in the next video. I'm Jeremy Krug, and I hope to see you there.